What can you do with a piece of wood and a string? I don't know. Hey, YouTubes, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, and I'm glad you're here. I want to share something with you guys today. First of all, I'm smoking my Roma Church Warden pipe. And in it, I have some of my local tobacco merchants blend called Merchant's Choice. This is a blend that they make here at my local brick-and-mortar tobacco store and it's called the tobacco merchant how aptly named anyway it's Christmas Day and uh, Santa gave me this beautiful this is a 54 inch longbow which is for a longbow short but I'm only 5'9", and I love this bow. I added a little rail guard there, and I put a little felt thing on the shelf there on the uh, arrow rest. I also added some beaver balls to the string uh, to help silence the string. But the, I love the woodwork on this bow. But like I say, it is a 54 inch bow, a long bow. It has a 35 pound draw. And I tell you what, I was looking for a small, light, easy to maneuver, easy to shoot bow. And my wife delivered with this one. I mean, Santa delivered with this one. No bells and whistles. I have smaller hands, so the smaller grip is great for me. And again, I'm getting old and weak, so the fact that it's only got a 35 pound draw is much better for me. My old bow, which is a uh, 68 or 66 inch recurve, almost as tall as I am. It's big, it's thick, it's heavy, it's a bitch to restring. Uh, the handle on it is really thick and it's just hard to grip with my hands. So I was looking for something smaller, more manageable. And uh, that's what I have in this bow right here. I haven't shot it yet, so I figured I'll get my first shots on video. It's always good to film yourself doing something. I have decided that archery is a new hobby for me. Uh, since I was a kid, I was always fascinated with Robin Hood. Growing up as a kid, I had, you know, numerous bow and arrows and... Uh-oh. Phone ringing. I don't know anybody from there, so I'm not answering it. Anyway, man, on Christmas Day, they don't stop, do they? Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've always had bows over the years. I've had compound bows. I've had this recurve bow that I told you about that was my brother's that's the bow that I've kind of been shooting but like I say it's got a 55 or 60 pound draw on it it's just not fun to shoot after six to a dozen arrows you're done I tell you I honestly don't know what kind of wood this is made with I think it's beautiful though because it's very basic very rustic looking and uh, that's what I was going for. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 11 arrows that I have and a target. And I'm going to see if I can put the arrows into the target using the bow. What a noble concept. All right, so why don't you guys come along and join me now and see how I do. All right? Come on. Let's go. All right, guys. So. The equipment I'm going to be using, of course, I'm going to be shooting the bow that I just talked about. I'm going to be using these 30-inch arrows with 4-inch feathers, 500 spine. I don't even know what all that means, but 
that's the equipment I'll be using. I also use a uh, finger tab. I probably don't need it with this bow because this is only 35 pound draw weight, but I'm used to it with my old heavy bow, so I'm just going to continue to use it. All right, I have 11 arrows. Hopefully, I can hit that target. And uh, since I'm just starting out, I set the target 10 yards away. And when I feel that I have good form and that I'm hitting a good tight knit grouping on this target, I'll move it back to 15, then 20, 25, so on. But many online aficionados recommended starting out at 5 to 10 yards. I thought 5 yards was too close. But after a couple of arrows, we'll see. I don't know. So this will be my very first shot with my brand new 54-inch longbow. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Huh? Not bad. Hit the target. That's always a good thing. Oh, pretty good. Getting close to the middle there. Let's see if we can get one dead center now. Ah, oh, that one's a little left. A little left and low. Ah, oh, let's try again. Hmm. Well, at least I'm hitting the target. That I'm happy about. Whoa, that one was way off to the right. <sighs> I think I thought too much on that one. A little high. Didn't think enough on that one. Whoa. Supposed to be getting better, aren't you? Seems like I got a little worse on those last two shots. Still hitting the target, though. Oh, man. A complete miss. What's happening here, guys? Oh, I'm supposed to be getting better. I'm getting worse. All right, let's try. I've got three more shots here. Uh, I'm shooting to the left now. Need to pull it over some. There we go. That's back in line. Whoa. Another miss. It skipped off the side of the target. Did you see that? Wow. Let's go take a look at the target, guys, and see how bad I did. All right, so here's where I was shooting from. Let's go see how bad I did. <sighs> Not terrible, I guess, for my very first shots. I did miss the target twice, though. One skimmed off the side, and the other one was a complete miss. And, uh, but I guess, you know, so I am hitting the target. That's why we practice, right? This is exactly why I'm out here doing this. And I love it. I, I'm going to be doing this stuff every day. But I do love the bow. Again, what I like about the bow is it is light. It is small. It's got a 35-pound draw, so it's easy to shoot. I'm not tired at all. I'll continue shooting. But it's a very simple, rustic-looking, well-functionable bow. Functionable? Functionable? You know what I mean. It shoots well, and uh, I just need to improve my skills now. Thanks for coming along on Airborne Outdoors, guys. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would love to have you on board. And to those of you who already have subscribed, please like and share. And uh, until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.